Hey guys and welcome back to another Chelsea career mode video on Football Manager 2020 Mobile. So now we have Arsenal, Bournemouth, Tottenham and Crystal Palace to deal with. Arsenal coming back of or coming on the back of a win. And in terms of the table, we are sitting just one point off that top spot, which is not too bad at all. Um we're certainly closer to that first place finish than we are in our Manchester United career. So now we have Arsenal in six days. It's going to be a very, very tough uh, and challenging match against our North London rivals. Wait, are they, are they our North London rivals? I think that's Tottenham. I'm not sure if Arsenal are. But I know they're pretty big rivals with us, Arsenal. Oh, did we just... Oh, we get the Champions League group stage, guys. We're going to be having Valencia, Lyon and uh, RB Salzburg <clears throat> in our Champions League group stage. The matches. We'll begin on Tuesday, the 17th of September. So that's not too long from now. We're literally about to enter the 1st of September in about a day. And we do have... Who do we have? Yeah, we do have Arsenal. How, how could I forget? And, um, yeah. I think so far, so good. We come on the back of a 1-0 win, is it, against Newcastle? Tammy Abraham scored. Where else did he score? Matteo Kovacic, Liverpool... Yeah, so this is basically only our... Actually, he scored in the first game as well. I think we're good to go, guys. We didn't lose out by too much against Manchester United. And um, let's head straight into this big game at Stamford Bridge. Here's Kante to Willian to Mount. Pulisic. A lot of pressure on Mount and Tammy Abraham to deliver in this game. Here's Kante to Willian to Abraham. Unlucky there for the striker, but we get an early corner kick though. That's basically an early chance for us to score. Not a very good corner kick. Goes straight into Gwendozi. He's William again though. Feeds it into Jorginho and he gets his first goal of the season. Apparently from the commentary, Ozil was meant to be man-marking Jorginho and he just let him get away. That proved to be costly for Arsenal. They're 1-0 down inside 12 minutes. And we should have a bit more confidence now. Here's Ozil. Mount commits a foul. Here's Jacka. Corner kick. Here's uh, a corner for Arsenal. Good defending. Aubameyang to Sako. Kante is going to try to get onto that, but he won't be able to. Good, also good early chances for Arsenal. They're obviously fired up right now, trying to get that goal back to basically get back into the game on level terms. But we do have an early goal. Can we keep this lead? But we'll have to see in the coming second half. Here's a free kick quite out further into our side of the pitch. Here's Jorginho to mount. Jorginho picks it up again, but he loses it. David Luiz to, to Saka. Aspilicueta trying to press good, good from uh, Kante, good from Willian. Abraham pulls it back. And Mount has a very, very good chance here to score. Perhaps his second goal. Willian takes it. Good set piece. There were like three players on top of that ball. All looked like they were going to go for a shot. But it was Willian. And that's 2 0. And I think that's Willian's first goal of the season. What a time to get it. And where, and uh, sorry, against. And what a team to get it against. 2-0 for us, guys. Very good uh, results so far. Studying the possession, not too much difference. A clear big rating difference between the two teams. Here we go, guys. Second half. Here's Martinelli. Good defense from Aspilicueta. Forty nine minutes gone, and we have another free kick. Here's Kante. Who is he gonna find? He passes a short one to Jorginho. What a good. Who is? What is all oh my days? I think that was cleared off the line. What a chance, Aspilicueta. Good. Possession, Kante to Mount. He's got all the space to play with. Jorginho, Kante, Mount again. And it's a free kick for Arsenal. Oh, my days. 
I was wondering why Mount left that ball rather than trying to score or pass it to Tammy, but it was a free kick, so the, the play got stopped. Kante gets a talking to by the referee. No yellow card so far. Just 20 minutes left to hold in to hold on to this game. So next substitutions are first subs of the game. Seven minutes left plus added time. This is looking like it's going to be a win for us and what a win it will be. Let's just see what subs we can make. Kante finally gets a yellow card. Uh, I guess that's just his... The I mean, that's the consequences of him having that ball-winning midfielder position. He's always got to try and win that ball back. And it's not always guaranteed that he won't win it back without actually fouling the, the players. So... Pulisic is on a 6. I think we can bring Hudson Odoi safely. And uh, we'll bring in Batshuayi for Abraham. Abraham's been on a 6. Quite a, um, a, a silent game for him. And I think we can bring Kovacic. Mount's been on a 7. Not doing too bad. Let's bring on Kovacic for Mount. And that's all our three subs of the game done. With uh, about 6 minutes to go. Hopefully we can keep this clean sheet. It might be very important. Uh, for goal difference reasons. Here we get Chambers. Perhaps the final kick of the game. Here goes Arsenal with a free kick on the halfway line. Good interception from Emerson. And that's the game one, guys. 2-0 for us. What a win against our top uh, top six rivals and our very fierce personal club rivals. A very good game. A game where we allowed Arsenal no shots on target from their eight possible shots. They had eight possible shots and they had zero on target. We had nine and we had five on target. Possession just a bit goes to Arsenal. And Arsenal ended up having a better overall team rating than us, which is a bit surprising considering the scoreline. And it's not like we scored penalties or just all set pieces. I mean, there was actually a, perhaps, yeah, you could say it was all set pieces. We scored from a corner and then we scored from a free kick, but we managed to take advantage. So why not? Okay. Kepa is a blogger who actually had some development. William had some development. Jorginho and Rudiger had some development from playing this game. And that brings us to third spot. Still one point behind Man United. So Man United are just keeping their winning record going so far. But we've just escaped another top rival. And when I mean by escape, I mean we've we've managed to overcome a high opponent, which means down the road in our scheduled fixtures, hopefully it will get easier. Christian Pulisic gets called up to the United States international team. Let's check out how Olivier Giroud is doing with his mentorship program of Abraham. It seems like he's developing a lot. T uh, Abraham's teamwork's going up. Mount's involvement is also going up. And it's fair to say the youngsters are coping well, especially Mount. Tammy's been a bit quiet, but he's still getting adapted. Uh, sorry, he's still adapting. Let's see his record so far. Not doing too bad. Three goals and one assist in five games. That's really good for a young striker who's... Um, apparently a scout from Leipzig was seen at our last game he is apparently watching Jorginho they can bid all they want we're not really a small club to be desperate to um, squeeze as much money as we can from selling our players we want to keep him if we want to keep him and he's useful then we will keep him and if we need funds we are a club that has the potential to raise funds and get players we want but anyway as I've been requested, I will not make any transfers. I will emulate the transfer ban, which is uh, undertaken by Chelsea at this moment. Uh, which is proving to be so well, working so well for them. And it's working well for us. We find ourselves third or fifth now after Manchester City play their game as well. Fifth, only one point behind the leaders. So that's good. Pulisic, unfortunately, is injured. So I think I want to bring in, I want to bring in Hudson Odoi. I want to get him involved. And um, put off this cheek there for Pedro. Sorry, not Pedro. Um, Pulisic. 
Christensen playing very well. I mean, he got a 6 in his last game, but the game before that, he got a 10. Zuma is doing well as well. So, who are we going to be going against? We're going to be going against Bournemouth away. And then we got our first Champions League group stage game against Lyon. A very tough opponent. And as always, we are ready to head into this game with high hopes. Let's go, guys. We get the first half underway. A nice looking stadium. Nice, uh, clean pitch. Uh, or should I say nicely maintained grass. A few passes from the Bournemouth players. They're trying to get themselves settled into the game. A long pass. Christensen is there. Rightfully so to stop that counter or attack going any further. The referee in charge of today is David Coote. Who is apparently very harsh. So we need to be careful if our players are to be committing themselves into some nasty challenges. Whether or not it is intentional. Ten minutes in. Nothing much from both teams. We are looking to continue our winning run. And probably Bournemouth are also trying to prove a point over us. A big club. Here's a Spilicueta though. Puts it off a corner. Did not want to take no risks. Probably had no communication with his defenders to actually know if there was someone behind him or not. Maybe he just knew uh, the corner goes straight into Willian. Literally doesn't even go past the first man. And that's another potentially threatening corner from Bournemouth. Again, it hits the first person. I'm not sure what's going on. It hits Mount this time. Twenty-five minutes gone. Yellow card for one of the Bournemouth players. Half time. At level, uh, level terms. Half time, and now we are ready to get into the second one. Hopefully, we can uh, create a bit more high hopes on Hudson Odoi as well. The youngsters coming in for Christian Pulisic, who's been arguably our best winger so far. Come on, lads. <clears throat> we need a good goal here. Eight minutes to go. I think we are we are in danger of another draw here, which would put us further down. I think we can put in Batshuayi for Abraham, and let's put in Pedro for uh, Hudson Odoi. Huh? And I think Kovacic for Mount. Six minutes left. Come on, lads. Into added time, guys. Still yet no chance. Here's a throw from Aspilicueta. Willian tries to get across him, but it gets deflected. And it's full time, guys. No, no. Perhaps a disappointing draw. We should have perhaps won this game. But we didn't really create anything, to be honest. Tape, Tammy Abraham again. Very quiet. Hudson Odoi was not able to step up to fill in Polisic's role. 
unfortunately for the young star. And um, we keep our keep our fifth place. We have Leon in two days, but unfortunately I'm gonna have to end this video here, guys. I haven't got much time on my hands, especially with assignments coming up. So I'm gonna have to keep these videos short. Yeah, so until next time guys, peace.